गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ स्टोरी दैट इज अ लिटिल मैच गर्ल दिस स्टोरी इज अबाउट द लिटिल पुअर गर्ल हु वेंट आउटसाइड हर होम इन अ वेरी डार्क एंड कोल्ड इवनिंग टू सेल हर मैच स्टिक्स इन द वेरी फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ इट इज गिवन दैट द इवनिंग वॉज द लास्ट इवनिंग ऑफ द ईयर एंड इट वॉज वेरी कोल्ड एंड डार्क इवनिंग एंड द स्नो वॉज फॉलोइंग and in the dark evening a little poor girl was moving in the streets she was wearing nothing in her feet and her head was not covered with any cloth in the next paragraph it is said that when she left her home she was wearing slippers but the slippers were very big because the slippers were of her mother so they were of no use and the little girl the poor girl she lost her slippers when she was struggling in the streets when two trains passed by her very fastly nextly one slipper was nowhere to be found means there was one slipper she lost and it was nowhere she did not find one slipper and the another slipper was taken by a homeless child he took the slipper and ran away as he was thinking that he will be using one slipper one day for his own children in the next paragraph it is said that the little girl walked bare bare feet as and her feet became red and blue because of the cold she was having a bundle of matchsticks one in her apron and the another one she was holding in her she was holding in her hand and till morning nobody has taken any matchstick from her and nobody has given her even a single coin then she was moving she was trembling with cold she was feeling very cold and she was very hungry she was looking very sad in the next paragraph it is told that as it was snowfall and the snow covered her long hair her long hair were covering her neck in the form of curls and from the windows of all the houses candles were burning they were looking bright and the smell of roast goose was coming out from the windows as because it was the evening of the new year in the next page there are some questions given like firstly what day of the year it was as we have read recently that it was the last evening of that year as or we can say it was the new year's eve next question is did the little girl have slippers on her feet yes the uh, firstly when she went out of her house she was having her slippers when, but after that she lost her slippers what was the little girl selling as we have heard that the little girl girl was selling matchsticks now in this first paragraph it is given that the little girl sat herself down on a corner in between the two houses and she covered together that means she collected her feet together so that she can feel a little heat but when she took her feet closer or when she drawn her feet closer she felt more cold and she did not go her home because on that day she was unable to sell any matchstick she was unable to sell the match boxes and she was thinking that her father would be very angry because at her home it was very cold and the roof she was having at her head was that roof from where the wind blew nextly her little hands were freezed with cold and she thought that one matchstick would be very comfortable for her she thought that if she lit one matchstick it would be very comfortable for her and if she could take one matchstick of a bundle and hit against the wall it would warm her fingers so she took one matchstick out of the box and when she rubbed it against the wall a sound was produced and fire was lit it was a warm and bright flame just like the candle and she closed her hands around it and she felt like she was sitting in front of an iron stove which was having a bright uh, bright brass top cover the fire 
had her warming and when the little girl stretched her feet as soon as she stretched her feet to warm them the small flame went away in the next paragraph it is told that she took another matchstick and she rubbed it against the wall it again burnt and when she saw the light that fell on the wall she saw that the wall became transparent that means the wall she was able to see the wall she was able to see what was on the other side of the wall so she was able to see the room that was opposite the wall there was a table and on that table there was a white colored cloth and on that cloth there was a dish and there was a plate you can say and in that plate a delicious roast geese was a very roast uh, a very hot delicious geese was there suddenly what happened next is suddenly when she saw that the goose jumped down from the table and it came near the poor little girl as soon as she saw that the match went out there was no fire the match went out and what she saw next was the again again she saw the cold wall that was left there then she lit another match stick and then where she, uh, and then she noticed that she was sitting under a beautiful christmas tree when she thought when she found herself sitting under the christmas tree she saw that various thousand lights were there on the christmas tree's branches and there were colorful pictures which she had seen on the windows of the shops and she tried to stretch her hands towards them so that she can take one picture out of them but as soon as she did that the match stick went out there was no fire left and after that the lights that were on the christmas tree they went towards the sky and she felt like them as the stars that were in the sky and suddenly one star from the sky fell down forming a large line of fire she saw, she said that someone is just dead usne and it was her old grandmother she was thinking that her grandmother who loved her very much she thought that her grandmother is dead and she as her grandmother she thought that as her grandmother had told that whenever a star falls that means a, sto- a soul travels up to the heaven then again we have some questions that says why didn't she want to go home as we have read that she did not want to go to her home because that day she was unable to sell any of the matchstick similarly the next question what did she want to what did she do to warm her hands what was kept on the snow white table cloth and what did the long trail of fire mean then in the next paragraph she drew another match against the wall again she collected one matchstick from the box and she rubbed against the wall and there was light again and in that light she saw her old grandmother she was looking so bright and happy and so calm and her face was having expressions of love she was looking full of love suddenly the little girl cried grandmother she said to her grandmother to take her with her uh, she said to her grandmother take me with you as when the light will no more will be no more you will go away as soon as the matchstick burns out you will go away like the warm stove where that was there when she hit the first first matchstick then the delicious roast goose and then the beautiful christmas tree in the last paragraph again what she did she took the matchsticks one by one from the bundle of matchbox and hit or rubbed against the wall because she wanted that her grandmother should be there near her and all the matchsticks gave her a very good light and that light was brighter than the noonday it was like the sun is shining 
she felt that her grandmother was never been so beautiful and so tall her grandmother took the little girl in her arms and both of them flew away in the bright light with very happiness above the sky where there was no cold and no hunger nextly but in the evening in the corner where the little girl was sitting she was having pink cheeks and her mouth was having a smile her face was having a smile she was leaning towards the wall she was sitting along with the wall she froze and she got deaths in the last evening of the year she was stiff and one of her bundles of matchstick was burnt again there are some questions that says who did she see when she lighted the third match when she lighted the third matchstick what was there when she saw next question says why was it brighter than the noon day when she lit the matchsticks why was it looking as it was sunshine everywhere and the third question says where was the girl the next morning next morning where did the girl see where the people saw the girl in the last paragraph of the chapter it is said that she wanted to warm herself people said when people saw her sitting along the wall the people said to each other that she wanted to warm herself therefore she used the matchsticks from one bundle nobody had even dreamt of the beautiful things that she had seen the last evening in the morning when people were gathered they said that she wanted to warm herself with the bundle of the matchsticks that were burnt and nobody had even a doubt that the little girl has seen such beautiful things in that evening no one have ever had ever dreamt that the little girl uh, that the little girl had gone in a very beautiful and happy things of the new year that was the end of the story here some words are given the words that are in blue for example radiant magnificent all the words are given here along with their meanings that i have also told in the story then here in the first part the a part is answer the following questions there are some questions given which we have found which we will found in the which we will find in the story itself like what time of the year it was how do you know it was as we have read for example i'll solve the first question that is it was the last evening of the year how do you know because it is given in the story right nextly all the questions are similar how had the little girl lost her slippers and similar next the b part says read the sentences and answer the questions here see the first part says there is a sentence and after the sentence there are some questions given and we have to answer that questions for example someone is just dead we read that line in the chapter a part says who said this and to whom these so this sentence this line is said by the little girl and to whom the little girl said we have to answer that similarly the next question says why did the speaker say this what was the reason of saying this line by the speaker and thirdly who had told her this who had told her about the thing that is written here in the sentence similarly the next question is also same here a sentence is given we have to read this sentence then we have to read the questions and we have to figure out who said that particular sentence and to whom similarly where did the little girl wanted to go and why would she go away when the match burns out why would the grandmother go away when the matchstick burn out next c part is think and answer where there are some questions given and we have to answer these questions why do you think the little girl saw the beautiful scenes outside the two houses right um we, here we have to give the reason that how the little girl saw the beautiful scenes 
what do you think had happened to the girl at the end what according to you happened with the girl at the end of the story and what do you like most about the story that means you have to tell one thing that you liked very much in the story that happened in the story one part that happened in the story and you liked it very much you have to describe that part in the story